this detective couple showed us that weird and dark work pretty well together. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 bughead moments on Riverdale. Ready to enter the belly of the beast? best I could do. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the sweetest and most romantic relationship highlights from Betty Cooper and Jughead Jones. Number 10. Bughead Revealed to the Gang After Jughead helps Betty through all her family drama, he lends her a calming arm as she's talking to their friends. Guys, what if Polly's really hurt? What if whoever killed Jason's coming after her next? Rather than brushing it off, Cooper holds on to his hand. The lack of acknowledgement from Bughead towards the touching shows just how comfortable they've become around each other. You know before how you said you didn't want Betty knowing where you were living. Is that because you and Betty... We may have had a moment... It's, it's totally cool, I get it. No worries, I'm just curious. It takes Veronica's hilarious catcher in the rye joke for Betty to admit that Bughead are an item. Did I just notice Riverdale High's very own Holden Caulfield put his arm around you? Okay, so the past couple of days I haven't been in a great place emotionally, and Jughead was really there for me. Hearing how wholesome and uplifting Jughead has been, Veronica speaks for the audience by saying, Oh my god, swoon. By starting things low-key in private, Jughead and Betty begin their relationship earnestly. Okay, in that case, if he helped my girl navigate some turbulent waters, well then, Veronica Lodge approves. <laughs> that a girl? Come on. Number 9. Jug breaking in to help. You said if we gave you the money, you'd leave. Or what? You think you three can take us? When Chick's dangerous associates threaten the Coopers, Jughead brings in the serpents to keep everyone safe. In the nick of time, Juggy angrily breaks through the Cooper's door, with the serpents whipping out switchblades. You think you two can take all of us? <laughs> Try it. Betty's sly smile and sassy taunt reflect how strong she feels with Jughead and the serpents. Together, they tell the degenerates holding her family hostage to run while they can. The Coopers are one of the most respected families in Riverdale. You two are just a couple Centerville scumbags. The move establishes Bughead's synergy as a power couple, and also helps Alice accept Jughead. More than anything, this moment highlights how far Jughead will go to protect Betty, and displays Betty's badass attitude. Thank you, Jughead. Thank your friends for me. We're serpents. That's what we do. Number 8. Serpent Partners With the summer coming to an end, Betty laments how she's drained from working on Archie's legal case. Either way, come Tuesday, it'll all be over, and I'll have to face everything. Everything that has happened, everything that will happen. Just as she says her life is out of control, Juggy assures her that he'll be standing by her through everything. Betty, we're gonna get through it. He declares in front of the fire that the couple are partners in life, in the serpents, and everything else. In an already heartwarming scene, Jughead acts even cuter by putting his iconic beanie on Betty's head. From now on, we're partners. In serpents, in life, all of it, okay? Going into the third season of Riverdale, this chat really solidifies that the couple are finally tackling all their problems together, and as equals. Number 7. Their Breakup Betty performs a provocative initiation to join the serpents and get closer to Jughead, but all it does is scare him. He's already having trouble protecting his bell, and he has no idea what dangers she'll face in a gang. When Betty insists that she wants to join the serpents, Jughead breaks up with her to convince her otherwise. It's gonna be okay, we'll figure out what we have to do together. No, Betty, mm -mm. not together. Betty had ended things with Jughead earlier in the season to protect him from the Black Hood. Cut him out of your life. I will. Despite the tears and heartbreak, what shines through these moments is that the couple care above all about keeping each other safe, even if it hurts. How many times are we going to push each other away? Until it sticks. Number 6. Polly's Baby Shower As Veronica starts excitedly planning a baby shower for Polly, Jughead asks whether or not he should even be there. Am I expected to come to this thing? Of course. You're Betty's boyfriend, so... When Veronica insists that it's his job as Betty's boyfriend, no one fights their new relationship status. 
Despite his initial reservations, Jughead dives headfirst into helping out and setting tables. When Betty says that it was sweet of him to come, Jughead jokes that planning a baby shower was on his bucket list. You're sweet to be here. I know this isn't exactly your scene. Room. What? Organizing a baby shower? It's totally on my bucket list. Rather than freaking out when she learns that Jughead's dad is a serpent, Cooper lovingly tells Juggy that she believes in him. I believe you, Jughead. By not only helping each other, but also insisting on knowing everything about each other's lives, Bughead grows a couple. Jughead, if we're gonna be together, I wanna know who you are. All of it. Number five, Bughead back together again. And we stopped her from coming back. And we got rid of tall boy. We. <laughs> it's nice to hear that again. While Betty and Jughead are still broken up, Jones talks about all the amazing things that he and Betty accomplished together. When Betty admits that she likes hearing him say we, he apologizes for having taken drastic measures to protect her. Look, I'll be apologizing for her and for the rest of my life, but I'm sorry. I am. For feeling like I needed to shield you from what I was going through with the serpents or my darkness. <laughs> Cooper declares that she can handle herself and all of Jones's darkness too. Just when Betty is about to leave, Jughead tells her to stay and immediately starts kissing her. Well, I should probably start heading home. Or you could stay. This romantic release gets Bughead back together and marks their first time getting intimate. It's a reunion that sets the two on a much stronger path. I just want you. I want all of you tonight. Number four, inspiring Betty. With Polly drifting from the family and all the drama between the Coopers, Betty breaks down in front of Jug. It's like, you know how in a time of crisis, people either come together or fall apart? It feels like we're falling apart. She says her family's falling apart and there's nothing she can do about it. Jughead manages to lift her spirits, however, by calling Betty the glue that holds her family together and urges her not to give up. Your family is definitely splintering right now, but it won't fall apart because of you. Because you're holding them together. In Jughead's eyes, Betty's stronger than either of her parents, and all the noise in her life too. You're stronger than your mother. You're stronger than your father. You're holding this family together. Jones's speech is not only a sign of love towards Betty, but her family as a whole. So don't. Don't. I won't. Number three, Jug learns about Dark Betty. And all this time I thought you were a lover, not a fighter. I'm both. I've got layers. When Betty organizes a surprise party for Jughead, this isn't the reaction she expected. Once the dust settles, the two talk things over at Pops. Jones apologizes for reacting so badly and admits he's scared to be vulnerable. You were doing something nice. It's just that sometimes when people do nice things for me, I short circuit. Maybe I'm not used to it. Maybe I'm scared. Betty in turn comes clean about Chuck and discusses how her dark side makes her lash out. There's this darkness in me that's overwhelming sometimes. I don't know where it comes from, but I think that's what makes me do these crazy things. Like When Betty shows her scarred palms as a side effect of her impulses, Juggy grabs her hands and kisses them. Though these two admit a lot of secrets to each other throughout the series, this is still one of their most transparent and romantic confessions. Number two, saying I love you and getting physical. Betty's assurance that she'll never give up on his dad's case confirms everything that Jughead is already thinking about her. That is why I love you, Betty. When he responds with that's why I love you, she returns the sentiment before he can repeat himself too many times. Jughead Jones, I love you. The two get aggressively physical in the kitchen and start tearing off clothes before Serpent's knock at the door. With their relationship getting truly serious for once, Betty looks genuinely concerned that Jughead is joining the South Side. This moment ended season one on a satisfying note for Bughead, thanks to their sweet words and some steamy romance. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. I'll help and I edit and suggest, but it's your story, it's your voice. Doesn't sound like complete freedom, but my man. Okay, great. What you said at Pops, I heard you. I'm 
whatever you need to do or explore, I support you. Oh, my neck. We fell asleep. How did we fall asleep? We were exhausted. It's not easy being us. Oh, my God, she's going to kill me. Oh. I have to go. Thank you for walking me home. I'll call you later. Good night. I just want to let you know that I love you. I'll never stop loving you. What are you saying, Jug? Where are you? Where is he? I'll see you soon. Number one, first kiss. All of Betty's family life is driving her crazy, until Jughead climbs up to her window. Though Betty seems confused by the latter, she happily lets Jones come in. Jug adorably says, hey there, Juliet, before listening to Betty's rant about her parents. And now all I can think is, maybe I'm crazy like they are. Hey, <sighs> we're all crazy. We're not our parents, Betty. Just then, Jones pauses and kisses his Juliet for the first time ever. Both of the lovers savor the moment and show a little smirk as they pull away from the smooch. In typical Betty fashion, however, she realizes something about their investigation after the kiss. The car. Wow. That's what you're thinking about in the middle of our moment? No. Though that diffuses their intimate moment, their excitement to get back to work is proof that they're meant for each other. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.